Hey guys, it's Trace Adams, and today is Thursday. Going to return your way Friday by 2 o'clock Eastern with another complimentary release. We'll talk about Thursday night in just a moment. Let's talk a little bit about last night. Very seldom do I get on this video report and sit here and talk about myself or talk about my life experiences. I don't really think it's necessary when you're just coming here to, to buy winners. Yeah, if we meet each other in public or something, we can have a beer. I don't really like beer, but bourbon or vodka, that would be awesome. Uh, last night, I kept score of the World Series game, the whole World Series game, up until like 1 o'clock in the morning. I don't know why. Um, history, maybe, I guess. But anyway, I just have to comment on Joe Madden's managerial decision to lift Kyle Hendricks with two outs and a runner on first in the fifth inning. I think it's absolutely one of the worst managerial decisions I have ever seen in a World Series game. The guy was sailing along a questionable two-out walk, and then he brings in John Lester in the middle of an inning, which he said he was not going to do. And then you saw how the pieces unfolded because they had to bring in the 39-year-old catcher, David Ross, who had to cover every ground ball in sight because John Lester has the yips, throws like Chuck Knobloch, the first base, can't even attempt a pickoff move for crying out loud. I would have certainly left Hendricks in for the remainder of the fifth and actually given him the sixth as well. The guy's the league leader in ERA. The guy is likely going to win the National League Cy Young Award, and you lift him before the fifth inning's even over. Weak. Then you bring in Aroldis Chapman again at, on, and use him for extended periods of time, which he had used Chapman before in game six for longer than necessary. Unreal. Cubs very lucky they won. But for my Chicago fans, tip my cap to you. Good job. Well done indeed. All right, now let's talk about Thursday night because I am the Thursday night king, as you well know. And we have another Thursday night football game tonight. It's UCLA at Colorado. And this is my Raise the Bar 1500 star, Thursday winner number 22 of 31 and sixth in a row this season. I am set to deliver. Last week I gave you Pittsburgh a 1500 star plus the three and a half covering against Virginia Tech. The week before, it was Virginia Tech over Miami, another half-price winner. Then back on October the 6th, we gave you Temple against Memphis covering for over half-price off. Then we had Clemson and Georgia Tech, and we gave you the Tigers on the 22nd of September. That was a winner. Then on the 15th of September, Houston throttling Cincinnati. Add them up. Five Thursday night winners in a row. College football players up over $14,000 for the year. And tonight is winning night number 170 of 304 with $1 betters over the past 381 days up $76,500. Get this Pac-12 lead pipe lock right now. 1,500-star winner number 22 of 31. Get it now. Plus a 500-star pay after win NBA dog shocker. Number 27 of 41 overall pay after wins now. Last night I gave you the Celtics over the Bulls. I'm on a 153. 122 and 13 run with pay after selections. This underdog shocker's online until five minutes before tip-off. Must win or you will not be charged. That's the way the pay after win play works. There you have it. There it is for this Thursday gaming card. Whew. Comp winner. I'm very tired, by the way, staying up to 1 o'clock in the morning. Comp winner tonight is to go with Iowa State plus the points against Oklahoma. Iowa State has had no luck in this series, and Oklahoma has hammered them the past couple of years. Oklahoma has been hammering teams in general the past couple of weeks, but I think this is too many points to lay on the road. His first-year coach, Matt Campbell of the Iowa State Cyclones, has his team competing hard lately, and they've been covering numbers as the underdog. I'm going to take Iowa State plus the points to cover here tonight. Go with the Cyclones plus the points against the Sooners. We'll talk to you Friday, 2 p.m. Eastern. As always, Trace Adams, dead serious about winning.